pollution. Pollution affects us all. There are economic, environmental and social costs associated with waste generation and disposal. It can harm the native species and their habitat and impacts on the scenic amenity of Queensland's natural areas. The pollution theme is separated into four sub-themes. Air quality, water quality, waste and greenhouse gas emissions. Air quality is considered a measure of the purity of the atmosphere and an indicator of a community's well-being. Water quality is defined by its physical, chemical, biological and aesthetic characteristics. Water is essential to human life and the health of the environment. A healthy environment is one in which the water quality supports a rich and varied community of organisms. Water quality in a body of water influences the way in which communities use water for activities such as drinking, swimming or commercial purposes. The waste sub-theme discusses five waste types. Household, construction and demolition, commercial and industrial, litter and illegal dumping and trackable waste. The volume of waste landfilled and recovered or recycled is further analysed. The economic, environmental and social costs associated with waste generation and disposal are also discussed here as a sub-theme. Waste, in particular litter, can severely impact our native species, mainly through suffocation and choking from ingestion. Care must be taken when disposing of litter to safeguard Queensland's wildlife. Queensland's large size combined with its decentralised population, presents logistical challenges for managing waste. Because greenhouse gas emissions cause global warming, it's important too that it be reported on. It becomes the fourth subheading under pollution. Queenslanders are concerned about climate change and there's strong public interest in taking action. The greenhouse gas emissions sub-theme is separated into seven sectors. Climate change is linked to human-induced increases in greenhouse gas emissions produced by each of these sectors. In response, both the Queensland and Australian governments have committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions.